Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I hope that you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Just gonna stay right now. My husband's in a Zoom call in like the room down the hall from me. So if you hear laughing and someone talking, that is him. <laughs> you saw in my intro the tea I'm brewing today. I was super interested to try this for one thing. It's oolong, I love oolong, but this is from Vietnam. I've never had a Vietnamese tea before, let alone a Vietnamese oolong tea. And so far it's a very light and floral tea. I'm really enjoying it, it's delicious. So for today's video, I thought we would just have some fun and do a full face of mini makeup. And I got this idea from Sarah C. I'm gonna have her Lydia, Lydia, whoa. I'm gonna have her video linked, there we go, uh, down below in the description box. You can check out her video. I thought it was such a fun, cute idea. And I do have a lot of mini makeup from years of Ipsy. And also I just like to buy mini makeup. If there is an option for me to buy a mini, that's the one I'm going to buy. I much prefer it. I, I feel much more comfortable. I feel like I have a chance of using it up before it goes bad. Okay, so let's get started. I just found out I actually need to be somewhere in like as soon as possible. <laughs> so I guess let's just uh, hurry through this, shall we? First off, I actually have a mini I have never tried before. It's just so it's very small. And this is the Professional Hydrate Primer. I know it's funny that I've never used this because this has been around forever, but I just, I have never used it. Someone gave me a sample, so let's try it out today. And that's my dog sighing in the background, being dramatic. No one's paying attention to me. Anyone else's dog dramatic? <laughs> Mine, we call her the aggressive flopper because she never just lays down. <laughs> it is always like a, a flop, a very, very loud hitting the floor. It almost sounds like painful, like, my, like she fell down, but no, that's just her flopping. <laughs> Anyone else's dog do dramatic things like that? I think partially she does it just for attention. Okay, well that settles in. I'm actually gonna try a mini, another mini I've never tried before. <laughs> this is a Anastasia Tip Brow. I know this is like super, super popular. Again, just like the Benefit one. I've never tried it. And this came a while back in an Ipsy. I think I used my points on it. I can't remember, or maybe I paid $3 for to try a sample of it. I can't remember. But in any case, I haven't tried it yet. So I thought I would try it today. Oh my, it's very, very small. <laughs> Perfect for this video. This is the shade Medium Brown. I have no idea if it will work for me. Goodness gracious, this is so tiny. Oh, the wand is actually a lot bigger than I thought. I usually prefer a smaller wand, but look, it is so small. I'm going for more of an everyday look today. The thing I need to go do, I have to wear a mask for, so I don't need to put on a ton of makeup or anything. Maybe I just didn't get very much product when I first used it. I feel like it's actually a little bit dry, which I don't mind if it's a little bit dry, actually. It's a lot better than a very wet formula. That is for sure, I feel, anyway. All right, I'm just gonna leave it with that today. Just a little bit of brow gel. I still can't get over how tiny that one is. Wow. Okay, for a base product, I thought I would go in with my little mini foundation from, or tinted moisturizer rather, from The Balm. This is the Antidotes Tinted Moisturizer. This is the shade number 10. This is pretty light for me, which it's okay. It's pretty sheer, so it can work. <laughs> it always looks so crazy when I put this on. So how do you guys feel about the tinted moisturizer craze? I'm all here for it and I am thrilled. I feel like my style of makeup is in right now. <laughs> Light coverage, natural finish, it's all my jam. But I totally understand that that is not everyone's jam. So how do you personally feel about it? I would love to know. This tinted moisturizer, by the way, is really, really thick. Like it can take a little bit to blend it out. But once it's blended out, I don't think it looks heavy but it's also like not a super dewy product either. I feel like it's just got a nice natural finish on it that a lot of people might enjoy if you can find your shade. This shade, the 10, like I said, a little bit too light for me. All right, looking pretty pale here. <laughs> We're gonna go even paler. I have this tiny little sample of the Tarte Shape Tape. This is actually in my project pan. I'm trying to use it up. I don't like it. Oh, I forgot. I was going to put on <laughs> a little eye cream first, right beforehand. I find it is so, so dry looking and I don't even have dry skin. I just, I'm having, I'm struggling with this one. So today I'm gonna put this, <laughs> this is actually a mini too. This is from Pure Lease. This is their I Adore Serum. I'm gonna put it under my eyes right before I put on concealer. Hopefully it will help with the crusty situation. I feel like it will especially look bad out here in my outer corner where I get like a little red. And so I always try and put concealer there and that, that's where it tends to look really, really dry. That and then my inner corner too, you know, where <laughs> I do get a little bit of greenish blueness. So yeah, that stinks <laughs> right where I want the 
Uh, concealing is where it tends to look bad, but we'll see if this helps. The other thing that is helpful, but I still find it difficult to accomplish, is just a tiny little bit of this, and sometimes I still get, in fact, most of the time I get way too much. I'm gonna try today though, and I'm not gonna put it in those trouble areas to start with. I'll put it here and then blend it. So hopefully that will help. Also today I'm gonna try it with my fingers. Maybe that will help pat it into the skin better. I've been using a brush and it's just been looking cruddy. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do is put the eye serum down in like right before because it looks so much better right now than it usually does. And just that one dot per each eye is good enough for me. This shade of the Tarte Shape Tape, uh, 12N, fair neutral. Also too light for me. <laughs> it's definitely brightening, even just the little bit I put on. Okay, let's put on a little bit of liquid highlighter. I have a mini of the Smashbox Photo Finish Radiance. This is supposed to be a primer. I don't like it as a primer, but I do like it just tapped on the tops of my cheekbones as a little bit of a dewy finish. It's not gonna give you a blinding highlight, but I like it as a highlighter. When I first put it on, it can look a little dark, actually. But pat it into the skin and I think it turns out okay. Yes, I like it so much better this way instead of used as a primer. This is another product I have been supposed to be panning and I have just been neglecting it because I couldn't figure out how I like to wear it. This seems to be the winning strategy. Oh no, I put up too much on that side. Let's see if I can put some up here too. Yeah, I really like that. There's no glitters or anything in it. It's just a shimmer, shimmery goo. Let's do a little bit of bronzer next. Whoa. What is happening on my forehead right now? It looks like I just removed all my coverage. Did I swipe my forehead weirdly? I don't know what happened. Let's just kind of go and see. What did I do up there? Just gonna add a little bit foundation back. I don't know what I did. Or if my skin is just for some reason turning red right there, that's weird. Uh-oh. I just, I'm turning. Am I getting hives? I think I might be. I need to immediately go wash my face. I don't know what's going on, but it's not good. <laughs> I am getting weird, gigantic red splotches. I'm gonna go take whatever is causing issues off my face. I'll be right back. Okay, this video just took a very strange turn. I had to quick go wash off my makeup <laughs> because as you can see, I broke out in some sort of a reaction to something I put on my face and I did since I washed it off, that means I washed off my sunscreen, so I just reapplied sunscreen, so I'm looking super, super glowy. But I don't think it was the moisturizer. Looking at where it is, like actual <laughs> marks like that, I think it was actually the primer, the professional primer. So either I'm allergic to something in it, or it has gone bad, which is entirely possible. This is, you know, not going on my face or anyone else's face. This will unfortunately have to be tossed. And while I don't think it was this moisturizer that caused the issue, I'm just going to use a product that I know for a fact doesn't bother my skin, which, you know, it isn't a many. It happens to be the Misha, but um, I'm gonna quick redo all the things I did before. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm at about the same stage as I was before I noticed <laughs> the badness happening. So I just used a light layer of the Misha. Um, I used the Smashbox actually underneath it this time since I knew I was gonna be more glowy with the Misha in combination with the sunscreen I had just put on. Anyway, let's move forward <laughs> with the mini makeup. I think um, we were onto bronzer, right? So <laughs> I have my mini Tarte bronzer. This is the Park Avenue Princess. I'm gonna use my e.l.f. complexion brush and just put it on the high points of my forehead and probably my cheeks. Okay, let's do a little bit of blush. So I have this mini blush from Dome Beauty. I've had this forever. This came in an Ipsy bag a long time ago, and I don't always hang on to the blushes that I get in Ipsy. This one, however, there's just something about it. I really like the texture. It's very soft, very buildable, and the color is just different than anything else that I have. So I, I have hung on to this one using the e.l.f. blush brush. And this is the shade English Rose, by the way. I don't think my cheeks need a whole lot of blush because they're still kind of red from the little reaction I had there, but hopefully it'll calm down here pretty quick. Since I got it off my face relatively quickly, I probably should have powdered before I put down blush. Hopefully this doesn't look patchy. No, at least to me it doesn't. <laughs> Later in editing, I might disagree and be like, yes, 
very patchy but right now at least to me it looks okay okay looking pretty rosy <laughs> i better stop Let's do eyes next. So I have a mini of the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've never tried this. I was waiting to open it until I'm done with the one that I'm panning, but I will allow myself to open it for this video. I'm assuming you just need a little bit of this. Okay, to let the eye primer um, set a little bit, let's tight line first. So this is a little mini pencil from Urban Decay. This is the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. Pencil. I have the shade zero and I like to tight line before I do my eyeshadow and a lot of times I forget so I'm glad I remember today. Sorry I can never tight line on camera. I have to lean down really close to my mirror to see what I'm doing so I don't poke myself in the eye. But anyway tight lining is done. Okay now for eyeshadow I have a couple of different options. I have some little mini Laura Mercier caviar sticks and I have this tiny little mini quad from PYT Beauty. This is the day to night cool palette and it looks like that. So I think I'm going to use a combination of both of them. I'm going to start with the Laura Mercier caviar stick in the shade Au Naturel and I am going to keep it pretty basic and easy today with what I need to do today but I'm going to put that along my starting kind of like along the lash line and then I'm gonna buff it up. I don't even know if you can see that. That's a pretty close color to my skin tone. I'm going to add a bit more and just kind of put that all over the lid actually since I didn't realize that shade was so light. It'll be nice to buff and do a crease. Okay that was super super easy to do. <laughs> really really nice color. Okay, next I'm gonna go into this little quad and I think I'm gonna take the bright little champagne-y gold shade. I wasn't gonna use my brush, I changed my mind and use my finger. I'm just gonna tap that all over the lid. Okay, I was thinking of adding this shade into the outer corner, but actually I think I'm just gonna leave it really, really simple like that. I also really need to hurry, so skipping the outer corner. Let's do mascara, mini mascara. I think we all agree it's the best for my upper lashes i'm gonna use the oma beauty drama bomb it is a really really nice volumizing mascara but i cannot put it on my lower lashes so i'm gonna use a different one for that this one will smudge on me okay then i used my benefit they're real on my lower lashes this stuff doesn't come off so i like to use it for my lower lashes okay now let's do lips for lips we have a lot of options so option number one <laughs> would be this Lipstick Queen lip liner. This is the shade Natural with this MAC lipstick in the shade Twig. This is something I rarely use, but I don't know, I'm kind of feeling it today. I also have a mini lip gloss from Real Her. This is the shade Be Limitless. I have a mini Tower 28 gloss in the shade XOXO, and I have a mini Fenty <laughs> gloss bomb. This is Ruby Milk. I'm thinking I'm gonna go for lip liner and lipstick. Actually, you know what? Never mind. I changed that. I'm gonna have to. Mm, actually, mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay, let's do lip liner, lipstick. <laughs> Indecisive me today. So, yeah, little mini lip liner from Lipstick Queen. Okay, lip lining's done. Now let's use this little. <laughs> now let's use this little mini lipstick from MAC in the shade Twig. Many lipsticks make me so happy, they're so cute. I don't want a super heavy layer, so I'm just gonna kinda dab it on. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to skip setting spray. I'm gonna go fluff my hair. I'll be right back. Okay, I made it to this video. I kinda got a bit derailed there in the middle. <laughs> But I do really like how my makeup turned out and I do really enjoy minis. Let me know down in the comments. Do you guys enjoy mini makeup too or do you kind of view it as a waste of money? In any case, thank you guys so much for watching this sort of a train wreck of a video. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.